face today. We're starting the vlog off very late again. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, I don't even know, like five, five o'clock, six o'clock. I don't even know if this is like normal, but it's so normal for me. I don't know why after like five o'clock or six o'clock, I get extremely motivated to clean. I think I'm a night owl. I'm not really a morning person. Like when I was in college, I used to do so much better with night classes and I would like film. I would literally go to class, like go to my night class and I would come home at like nine or 10 and then I would film like a makeup tutorial until like 12 or one in the morning and then I would edit until six or seven. Like I was just that crazy person and then during the day I would sleep. My mind just works better that way. Are you guys the same? Leave a comment down below and let me know, are you a morning person or are you a night owl? Cause I'm definitely a hundred percent a night owl. Like Carlos is always like, why do you want to clean at like eight o'clock at night? And I'm like, I don't know. I just have this burst of energy. And you know what? This probably doesn't help. I don't know why I'm drinking this at like seven o'clock at night, but I was really craving it. I'm in the room that we finished yesterday with four of my crazy dogs. So if you guys hear huffing and puffing, that's them. Right here. <laughs> that's them right here. You guys are probably so tired of this room, but you guys, I'm so happy with it. If you guys missed the last video, make sure you guys go on my YouTube channel and check out the last video. This room was a shit show and I cleaned it in three days and it's amazing to walk in here and everything's organized and clean. However, let me show you what we're doing next. We are attacking this room right here. This is what we're doing today. I don't think this room is as bad. Do you guys think it's bad? Um, I mean, it could be better, but it's not as bad, you know? So I feel like I can do it tonight, but I always think that I can do everything in one day and it just never works out. Hopefully tonight or tomorrow because tomorrow Tomorrow, our friend Corey is coming to pick up all of the trash to recycle and throw away for us. If you guys are actually in the Inland Empire area and you're looking to throw away like trash, recycle, or maybe you have like really big things in your backyard that you want to throw away, Corey will come to your house and throw everything away for you. He's amazing. I'll list his information down below. I actually don't know where he's based out of, but I think he services the Inland Empire area. If you guys remember, a few months ago, we got those like huge pots with the poles and we hung like string lights onto them. We're getting rid of that because we're gonna do hard wiring lighting in our backyard because I feel like the string lights, they're making our backyard look way smaller than it is. So we're gonna have Benji, who's our landscaper, come and he's gonna do hard wiring, hard wire lights all throughout our backyard. We went to Vanessa's house the other day, which is our neighbor, Vanessa. We love her dearly. But Vanessa and Jared, their backyard, they have hard wire lights and we were like in love. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Koopy says hi. <laughs> but yeah, let's get started. I don't know how much we're, ooh, it's bright. But let's get started. I don't know how much we are going to get done tonight. I hope a lot, but I'm going to start ahead. Start ahead, oh my gosh. Don't mind this stuff in the hallway. I'm going to my mom's this weekend and that's all for her. And my sister's in town as well. So they're gonna go through all of that. And then I wanna get this done because not only is Corey coming tomorrow, but this weekend I won't be home because I'll be camping. I'll be in the wild. Oh my God, they're fighting you guys. Hey, can we not? Fight! Riley! Casper! No, 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 no! <sighs> they drive me crazy! You guys, look at this little dumpling. Look at him. Oh my god. Freaking Riley left his claw prints on the carpet. Do not rip out mommy's carpet, you guys. Very expensive to replace. Koopy! Koopy! Koopy, do you like the, the bench? Cooper! He's licking himself. What are you licking, bubs? Koopy, what are you licking? Oh. Koopy, do you like it? Casper, do you like it? Oh man! They're so funny. Honestly, I can't imagine life without them. I genuinely don't remember my life before dogs because this is all I know and all I wanna know. Huh, look at them, oh my God. Okay, you guys, we really gotta go clean. Huh, oh, please pray for me. I'm trying to knock this out in three hours. Do you guys think I can do it? Leave a comment down below if you think that I can knock this out. Okay, fine, give me four hours, four hours. You think so? Cause I really wanna get this done and then sit down and enjoy Narcos. <laughs> I've watched Narcos like 500 times, by the way. This is like my, I think this is our seventh time watching it together. Carlos and I love Narcos. Out, you guys, out. Go, go, go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, oh, I should probably take my ring off. You guys always wonder why, oh, why is it so bright? You guys always wonder why I don't wear my rings. It's because when I'm doing stuff, I'm scared that it'll get scratched. So I'm gonna take my ring off and put it right there. Oh man, don't eat anything. Literally the story of my life, telling old man not to eat stuff. Rocky, don't eat anything. Is it too bright? Man, I feel like it's too bright, y'all. And then I have this like big rolling cart here that I don't need. But I think the first thing I'm gonna do is, oh man, 
Don't eat that, Bubs. I have this big Buddha here, which I love this big Buddha. I found him at Home Goods, and he makes me very freaking happy. Ugh. But the first thing I'm gonna do is move this very comfortable chair to the side here. We're gonna keep those two tables there. Yeah, okay. This room has no purpose yet, by the way. <sighs> Excuse me, boys. This is the most comfortable chair ever. Excuse me, boys. Come on, squeeze your slim body. Oh, nice. This feels nice. Oh, this is me cleaning. You guys, there's no room for you in here. Mommy's got to clean it. Go hang out in the other room. We have clothes. I also have this really cute thing I got from Target. I'm just going to put you on top of the chair for now. Let's go, Eperos. Thank you very much. Please stay out there so Mommy can clean. Oh, you forgot your toy. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe I should start on the top of the desk. These Alex drawer desk. By the way, if you guys are wondering where these desks are from, everything's from Ikea. Maybe I should clear the top, but then part of me is like, maybe I should work here and then organize into clusters. Like these two bag, actually these, what am I doing? <laughs> these two bags here, they're actually donation bags. So they're, I don't even have to go through them, which is nice. See, it's like a lot of big items. I don't think this will take long, but I should probably get going. I do have to go through that cart. I feel like a lot of trash is in there. I'm going to start with the closet actually. Yeah, I'm going to go through all of that stuff, move that out, and then make this presentable so I can start moving things that belong in the closet inside the closet. I think that'll be way smarter than starting out there. This is literally how I clean. I categorize things and then at the end I have different categories and I just go through each one and put them where they belong. I find that this is the fastest way to clean for me and also declutter because you're going through literally everything. Like I'm going to go through this and whatever I need, I'll keep and whatever I don't, I'll donate. Hello, you guys. It's about an hour later. I have everything organized in categories, as you guys can see. Look, I cleared the cart thing. It took longer than expected. We had a lot of trash, that's for sure. So we have everything in categories. It looks like a huge mess, and you're probably like, Kim, yeah, I don't really see a difference. Trust me, it's organized. <laughs> it's organized in my head, at least. So I need to move. I have like two of these boxes that need to be moved out. I have a box over there there that needs to be moved out. So from here on out, we're just going to organize. I promise you, if you guys are looking into decluttering or organizing, this is the best way to do it. Just sit your ass on the floor with a trash bag and put everything you don't want in the trash bags, categorize everything. And then at the end, everything you have in your room is what you want to keep. You just go through each category and put them where they belong. So that's what we're going to do now. Before we do that, I need to move the bags to where they belong. Like these two are donation. That is trash. These two is trash. That is donation. That's trash. We need to move everything out to the door and then we'll come back and organize. You guys, I just found Polaroids of the day that Carlos proposed in our new house. Oh my goodness. Brooke and Michelle were there. Look, Carlos proposed to me in our dining room before our house was finished. I think this this was in October. Yeah, we got engaged in October and our house wasn't complete until December. This is like where our round dining table is. So cute. I'm so happy that I have these. I found a bucket of makeup. <laughs> So we are back in the studio. I'm going to put the makeup that I found. I found some makeup and some hair, ex <laughs> some hair extensions. So I'm going to organize them. The beauty of this is I think I'm probably going to re rearrange a few things because I found a few things. I also found some te technology stuff that I can put in my technology drawer. Good amount of makeup too. So we are going, Casper's licking my leg and it feels weird. <laughs> like we have hair extensions right here. Excuse me, Kobe. 
See, now I need to rearrange because I have like a few more new items. We have eyeshadow palettes. Those go down here. How cute are these? I think it's Korean or is it Japanese? Hmm, I don't know. Etude House? What brand is that, you guys? I could also just read. Made in Korea. Hmm, that was easy. I bought these Korean makeup products and I haven't used them yet. I think this is blush. No, lip. Wow. Kim, you should consider reading more. These are lip products. So... Here, let me move you guys over here so you can hang out with me over here. No, let me put you here, right? So you can like see. Ta-da! Lip products we have right in this drawer. Also, don't mind the outfit. I got hot and then I got cold. Hi, baby. Lip products I'm going to put in here. This is my lip drawer. I detoxed it like crazy. If you guys watched the last vlog, gave my family a whole bunch of makeup. Patrick Star eyeshadow palette goes down there. It feels so nice that like everything has a home. Lip product. Oh no, this is more of like, yeah, it's a lippy. Face primer, eyebrow. I have a lot of brow stuff. Primer. Primer goes up here. No, that's foundation. Sorry, I'm still getting used to things. Primer's down there. More primer. Whole bag of cotton balls. We have Q-tips, sponges. All of my like face prep stuff is up here. Nail polish remover, which I don't know. Oh, you know why I have this? Cause during quarantine in 2020, I couldn't get my nails done for how long were nail salons closed? Like six, nine months? It was a pretty long time. So I went the natural route and did my nails at home. Speaking of nails, I got my nails done today. The typical <laughs> French nails that I always do. Oh, guys, guess what? I found more. Fenty lip products, and it's in this little container. They're mini, they're really cute. Should I keep them in the container or put them up there? Oh, what should I do, what should I do? I feel like I should put them up here, huh? They're so cute. Oh, you know what, maybe I should, can you guys see me? <laughs> maybe I should move the Charlotte Tilbury's down here. We go and then all the Fenties can go up here next to the other Fenties. Oh my god, it's gonna fit perfectly! I have one more, and look, it fits perfectly. It was meant to be. How cute is that? And then I have this container that I can reuse. Ooh, what can I use this container for? Pencils, makeup brushes. I really like it. Well, I guess I'll just leave it here for now. And then I have more of these NYX cosmetic lippies. Okay, so note to self, I don't need to buy any more NYX cosmetic lip products. Beauty sponges, these things, these are really good. They're by this brand called Veramona, or you can buy like other brands as well, but when you're working with multiple eyeshadow colors, you can just wipe your brush on here and it gets rid of all the color. And it actually works too, which is amazing. Juvia's Place, eyeshadow palettes. For someone who doesn't have a big eyelid, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. More eyeshadow palettes? What's this? Etude House, ooh, that's pretty. And then I think this is blush, and then we have some lashes. Blush goes in here. I'm a huge blush person, I love blush. And then lashes are right here. You guys, I'm so grateful that everything has a home. Cannot express to you enough how good that feels. I cannot wait to walk around this house and like have nothing on the floor. What's this, blush? You just can't help it, you know? Sometimes your house gets messy. Cheek tint, highlighter. Hourglass brow. I think I had another brow product. More lip products, a lot of Kylie Cosmetics. I forgot that I even bought Lauren Conrad Beauty. You guys, fun fact, I'm a huge Lauren Conrad fan. If you guys go all the way back to Laguna Beach days, which I must say, I am a huge, huge Laguna Beach and The Hills fan. Huge, like I will probably cry hysterically and get all red and have a mental breakdown if I ever got a chance to meet Kristen Cavallari or Lauren Conrad. Like I literally, I'm like so emotional talking about it. I loved Laguna Beach. You can even ask Carlos. I bought the whole Laguna Beach season one, two, and three and the whole entire series of The Hills on Amazon Prime so I can always watch it. I love it so much that I have Laguna Beach one one, two, and three on DVD and The Hills all on DVD. I don't even have a DVD player, but I bought it just in case. I don't even know. Maybe Amazon Prime will take it off and I can watch it on DVD. You guys, huge Lauren Conrad fan. Like, I'm literally obsessed with her. And I forgot that I bought some of her products when she came out with makeup products. These are lip glosses. Did I put Kylie Cosmetics up there? I'll have to try her makeup line and see if it's good. I have a lot of liquid lipsticks. Mascara. I haven't tried this yet, the P. Louise 
P. Louise Base Pro. I see Karen. Well, her real name's Karen, but you guys know her as I Love Sarahi. I Love Sarahi. Sarahi. Oh my god, I feel like I'm saying that wrong. But she always uses this in her makeup tutorials, so I'm excited. Where do I put eye primer? Do I put that like in the. Oh, I guess it goes right there. More lip glosses, liner. I have a lot of lip liners, and then this is like eyebrow. My my like goal is every single time I buy new makeup products, I need to go in and take something away. Do you guys think that's a good rule? So every time I buy, let's say I buy a lip liner, I have to go in my lip drawer and get rid of the same amount that I bought. So it's not like overflowing. I feel as if I'm not gonna live up to that rule, but at least I'm trying, you know? Okay, so I have these acrylic drawers that I bought for the from the container store like two years ago. They're really good quality. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. Quite an investment, but really good acrylic. And they're really big. Oh man, this one cracked a little bit. But I'm thinking this. So you guys see how I have this situation right here. I feel like this is more office vibes than being in here. I don't know why I even put that there, but it's okay. I'm going to move that and put this here. So this will hold all of my accessories, sunglasses, jewelry and stuff. I would put it in our closet in our master bedroom, but I feel like I should keep like my favorite pieces there and then accessory wise, like these sunglasses and stuff can go here next to my What's he doing? <laughs> Next, there's no ball under there. Um, Casper. Casper, are you okay? Do you see something I don't see? What is it? Bubba, what is it? Is your ball in there? Baby, there's no ball there. Hmm, I'm not too sure. But anyways, let me switch that out. Okay, much better. Yes, it really bothers me that these two are the same size and then this one is bigger, but that'll do. that I finished. Oh my goodness, you guys. It took five and a half hours, but we are completely done. The room looks so good. Keep in mind, this room is not aesthetically pleasing. It's just kind of like a inventory storage room. So it might not make too much sense, but here we go. I'm so excited. We have the shelf. I love the shelf right here, by the way. So the shelf holds a few things, <laughs> but it looks okay. I think I'm gonna go back in a few days and reorganize this, for, but for now this works. And then I also have my Buddhas at the top and then the closet here. The thing is I don't wanna commit too much because if you guys remember, Brian and Jocelyn are coming back in at the end of February, I think. I don't 
know, mi middle of February, end of February, I don't remember. And they're gonna redo this closet. So a lot of things are just laying out because I don't wanna fully commit to a organizational system until I have all the shelving up. Brian's gonna design this closet and then put like additional shelving, kind of like the other room that you guys saw yesterday or in the last vlog. But this is the walk-in closet, it's clear. So when Brian is ready, I can just move all this out. I'm not too sure about these two Ikea cabinets yet. They are so incredibly beautiful. I do want to keep them. I think I'm going to have to move them out here. This whole concept here will change eventually. The other table in the other room is actually going to move over here. And then I'll tell you guys about that when... I'll tell you guys about that whole situation when the time comes. I'm still waiting on a few pieces. But I think I could put these two white cabinets over there, like against that wall, just to like hold things. But... I will see but yeah this is the closet so we are done with that I'm so excited it's clear and then this is the room from the closets perspective we're keeping the tabletops clear because we're gonna do a lot of work on there if you're wondering about this chair it's in Carlos's man cave at his computer desk but this is what we have here if you guys are wondering this whole desk these are like two desks pushed together. These white drawers are the Alex drawers from Ikea. And then the tabletop is from Ikea, but I don't remember the name. I will try to link it down below. But, oops, sorry. So basically, yeah, these are two tables pushed together to make a long one. I think it's so cute if you guys are looking to make like a his and her office or maybe like a study area for the kids, whatever it may be. Very inexpensive, really good quality, and has a lot of storage. I highly recommend. I will probably keep this system for a pretty long time. I can see like our kids way in the future using it. Um, it's just really good quality. Or if you have like a small business, it's really great space to pack things or do like office stuff. Highly recommend. It's such a great way to put a very affordable but also very good quality desk together. And then this whole section doesn't, oh my god. When is Casper not, oh, when is Casper not like fighting one of the other dogs? Look, oh my gosh, you guys. This whole system doesn't work, but for now, it's just there. I still have to go through that pile. I'm just way too lazy. And then this is like the round glass dining thing that goes in on our dining table, like dim sum style. So whenever we have like big dinners, people can spin the food and like get it. Long story short, you guys know what that is. And then we're back here. I can't believe it. It's completely clear. It's midnight right now, by the way. But oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Koopy, what do you think, bubs? Do you like it? He's hiding from Casper, but Casper's right here. Hello, Casper. Hello, boys. Everyone's here. Carlos likes the room, too, so. Yeah, I love it. It looks so good. Just need to go through that little section. This will be moved eventually. Oh, Riley got a new ball. <laughs> oh, I don't have one for you, man. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Your toys are over there. They're over there. Somehow we, ran somehow we randomly found a ball for Riley when we were cleaning, so. Oh, it squeaks. Uh-oh. Oh, snap. Oh, this is snap. Game. You want to play it? No. You want to play this game? Casper does. Yeah, look, this is a game you like. Oh, you guys, I love this game. This is the only game that I am able to play. Well, you played that bike one. And the bike one, and the racing car. Riley loves it! Yeah. Well, baby, good job. I love it. Thanks. Okay, goodbye.